So I want to go over the trades on the day, good trading day, 50K, and all portfolios above are trading the 50K right now. And the uh, day, profit on the day for one unit on the 50K or 200, and 200K is about plus 550. There were two trades. Cobra 3 hit its long profit target at 1375. And SR Countertrend 2 ES lost 825 going short. So plus 550 on the day on the 50K portfolio and the 200K portfolio up day. So that's good to see. Let's go over the rest of the trades in the VPS and look at the old 200K portfolio. Today, today's morning was very choppy. And then all of a sudden we have this nice smooth afternoon trend. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And um, the, the 200K, old 200K portfolio that we transitioned from is down about minus 2K right now with one position long in the NQ. So I guess it could go break even. If the NQ rallies another 100 points, it would be uh, around break even on the day. Um, so that's something to consider is, the, is this afternoon trend uh, going to be, was this morning's choppy sell-off carryover from September and now October starts here where we get smooth trends again? Uh, it's a million dollar question. Uh, let's take a look here at this chop indicator. We talked about how there were 14 trips or 15 trips yesterday. There was only one, two, three, four today. So you see a smooth trend down, pretty smooth trend up, but when something reverses, it's tricky when it reverses all the way. But this afternoon trend is uh, you know, started to make some profits back on uh, the losses of this morning. So if you're trading the ES, you're down about minus 3,700 on the trades on the ES, minus 825, plus 575, and then Gap Field Masters plus 175 per unit, and then Cobra 3 ES plus 575, 60 minute breakout loss, minus 1,025, after hours loss, minus 725, 60 minute breakout short, minus 1,350, tick pullback, minus 525, I'm showing minus 3,700 on the ES strategies, I'm showing plus 775. On the NQ strategies, including this open position um, at 11, with this open position right here at 11.25, it's plus 775 on the NQ strategies. So minus 725, plus 11.15, uh, minus 525, plus 50, one loser, one winner. Uh, AT 2020, minus 25, um, Esther Countertrend 2, plus 575, tick pullback, minus 575. And then stock index swing in Q plus 475. Cobra 3. These were the, uh, this is the, so for the 50K portfolio, the ES strategy that lost was SR Countertrend 2. You see this short trade right here. And then the strategy that won was the Cobra 3 in Q trade for plus 1375. And so you see SR Countertrend 2 in Q minus 825. And I've gone over these others already. So, this Cobra 3 strategy um, is the one we um, we like the most in this type of market environment. It's really the biggest winner in the 50 in the 50k portfolio and a very strong strategy to trade um, in the portfolios. Crude oil, uh, we had gap fill in reverse, minus 525, and then Cobra Crude 2020 aggressive, plus 425. So minus 100 in crude oil. And gold minus two or plus 260 on Asia Gold 4 long, Asia Gold 4 2020 plus 260 as well, holding those positions. And these are this is the old 200k portfolio that we transitioned from down on the day, like I said, down about 2000 on the day right now. As we sit with just one with actually an open position in the NQ and two open positions in gold, so it's possible this could go positive for the day. Um, soybeans down on the day, SR Trend 2, plus 275, and soybeans day trader 3, minus 375. So um, one of the things we want to uh, guard against is um, transitioning away from a portfolio that then all of a sudden does well. So today we've done well. Um, it's possible that, um, you know, this October could be a new month of trend. So if the market rises, uh, I would anticipate that it would be less volatile and less choppy. It's just when it goes down, it gets so choppy. The market chops until it gets what it wants. 
and then when it gets what it wants, it's smooth. So that's what makes it challenging. The lack of the lack of the uh, two-sided trend, two-sided ebb and flow, makes it has made it challenging. So it's it's uh, about 49 minutes until the stock market closes on Friday, October the first. And those are the trades on the day. I'll have the portfolio calculator updated. May have some updates over the weekend as we continue to monitor monitor the markets and look for the best strategies to trade in the portfolio going forward in Q4.